Hello. And just getting our Facebook video ready and up. <coughs> Sorry, you guys are gonna move me around here. We're having some technical difficulties. There we go. Good morning. Let everybody kind of get on. I forgot some stuff. I'm just gonna go grab it. Okay. I think Megan has everything, you guys. I saw Karina and your kids are here and Alexis is here this morning. Good morning, you guys. I hope you're having a nice day. It's beautiful and sunny out today, but I don't know about the rest of you, but I didn't really care for, do you guys like snow? I don't. I don't like them. I don't like it at all. Snow is not, not my thing. So we were gonna have some fluffy guests this morning, but since it's so cold out, I didn't want to take them out of their warmer. So instead, um, after the Facebook and the YouTube live, I'm gonna upload onto the Facebook page um, some videos of the baby chicks that we have at our house. They're really, really cute. Um, there's two different kinds of chickens. So that's why they're going to look a little different because baby chicks are just like baby people. They look a little different when they're babies. So. <coughs> Excuse me. I also really don't like the cold weather because it makes me cough. Um, so today for story time, we are going to be doing two things. If you guys looked at the post earlier this week, so you are going to need a little plastic bag. And if you guys have a couple, we also have lots of cows. So we're going to take, and since it's spring, we're getting ready to seed, right? We live in a farming community. There'll be lots, even though there's snow on the ground, I'm sure there's farmers out in their sheds right now getting their seeding equipment already. So what we're going to do is we are going to explore seeds this weekend because we have story time again on Monday. So what we're going to do, you guys, is you're going to take a wet piece of paper towel. And if you don't have this stuff right now, you don't have to come in. So what I want you guys to do is your paper towel is going to be damp. And then you're going to put it in your bag. Because what we're going to do is we're going to watch the seeds grow. Because inside a seed is everything that a plant needs to grow. The tiny little seed is all the nutrients and everything that a plant needs to grow into a plant to start. So what I want us to do is I want us to explore and see if we can see the different parts of the seed. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our piece of paper towel into our bag. We're going to have to flatten it out so it looks nice. Now they're going to roll to the bottom and stuff and that's okay. See, can't even see mine. They're hanging out in the bottom there. And then you're going to close the top, but not all the way to a window. Because what do plants need to grow? What do plants need? <coughs> Excuse me. What do they need to grow? What do we need to grow? We need the sun, right? We need light and we need food. Well, the seeds have everything they need for food. Um, they need, we need water. Plants need water too. And something that plants need that we really but to start off, it'll be all right. So we're gonna put our three seeds in our paper towel, in our little bag with it open on one end or both ends because we want it to be able to get oxygen because it's just like peat fill. They need to have air in them. And we're gonna tape it to our windows. And then I want us to observe over the next few days what happens to our seeds. 
once you get it pulled up and your seeds are up, you got it on your window if you want to move it around and see what happens. So I want you guys to make some observations. That means I want you to lose your eyes and your mind and think about what's happening to our seeds. What do we see changing with them? So I want you to do observations. So today we're going to observe that our seeds are hard, right? And they're just brown. Mine are. Can you guys see? Look at it. So mine are just little and brown and hard. And there's nothing around them, just them. So that's my observation for today. So tomorrow I'm gonna to put my observation on the Facebook page, a little video, and we're gonna see if they change. So anytime you guys want to send me pictures, you can message the library or you can comment underneath where my videos are, okay? So this is gonna be our observation for the next, our science, our, our science experiment for the next week or so. And we're gonna see what happens to our seeds. Oh, are you guys ready to read some stories? Now that we have to do today is we're going to make chicken pictures. Mm -hmm. We are going to make chickens out of our hands. Did you know that? Did you know your hand can be a chicken? Because it can. So what we're going to do today is you guys want a heavy paper or a piece of cardboard. I just found a box this morning and I cut a little chunk out of it. Because we are going to take and paint our whole hand white if you have white paint. If not, you could really make your chicken whatever color you want because this is going to be the body of our chicken. And we're going to stick it on our cardboard. And then after, we're going to take some red paint and some yellow paint and add some things to it to make a chicken. And then we'll let this dry. And then later, you guys get on either side. Because once you cut out your chicken hand, you are going to slide it in here. And this is going to be the grass or the hay that your chicken stands on. So your chicken will actually stand. Pretty cool, huh? So if you don't have all the supplies that you need, because you're going to need the cardboard tubes, you're also going to need your paint. So I've got white and yellow and red paint here and a paintbrush to paint my hand. And I actually also have a little paintbrush to add. We're gonna put a beak on our chicken and we're also going to make ours roosters. We're gonna put some nice red on its top, okay? So that's what we're gonna need for our craft after. Um, so if you don't have that stuff, maybe it's a good time for mom and dad to get it. I've got some paper towel ready for after I paint my hands so I can wipe it off so I don't get paint all over my house because that would be no good. Let's read our first story. <coughs> me this morning, yeah. Not being around each other. Okay, so our first story is called On the Farm. This is one of my favorite stories because it talks about all the animals on the farm. So if you guys live on a farm, you maybe will have to send me a message about what of these animals you have at your farm. So On the Farm is written by David Elliott and it's illustrated by Holly Mead and it's published by Candlewick Press. And it says to Kristen, Cappy and all the kids at Curious Thief. We've got this beautiful farm picture. Oh, I love it. It says, the rooster. The rooster crows and struts. He's got feathers. He's got guts. Oh, the rooster struts and crows. What's he thinking? No one knows. So there's our rooster. What do roosters say in the morning? Do you guys know what roosters say? Do you have any idea? When it's morning, do you know what roosters' jobs are? Their job is to weigh up the farm. They go, cock a doo doo doo. Can you guys cock a doo doo doo? Can you cock a doo doo doo? Cock a doo doo doo. Okay, so let's see what I mean. Abracadabra, she's utterly amazing. This is kind of funny because where cows, where the milk comes out on them, that is called the pony. The pony whinnies in the wind, picks in his stall. He's as mighty as his cousin, just not as tall. So the, here's the big horse and here's the baby pony. But he's just not as tall. Oh, this is, I bet you a lot of people have one of these animals, but maybe they don't live on a farm. What animal is this? A dog, yeah. Oh, yard. You might think he's keeping cool. Beware, he's keeping guard. So we have dogs at our house that actually only live outside animals are these, you guys. Any idea? They're sheep. The sheep began his woolly life as gentle as a lamb. Too bad he turned into a ram. So here's our baby sheep, and they're called lambs. And this is called a ewe. And then over here, we have the daddy sheep, or the boy sheep, and they're called rams. And they say, bam, when they run into each other. 
Oh, this is one of my favorite animals on the farm. The barn cat. Mice had better think twice. Why do you think the mice better think twice? Because this is the goat. The goat eats everything from trash to trillum. Hey, look out, he'll knock you silly. When he's bad, we call him William. When he's good, he's just our Billy. <coughs> so Billy goats, garden, your trees, trash. They're just kind of silly and they get into lots of trouble. They're very mischievous. The pig. Oh, can you see the pig? This is a very large old sow in this pit in this. She is quite lovely, isn't she? Look at them here behind. Ooh, it's the snake. I don't like snakes. The snake boils in the garden like a spring or the wild and winding melody he hears, but he cannot sing. Oh, I like these animals. What kind of insects are these, you guys? What do you see buzzing around? Do you know? Those are bees. The bees tell their story sweet and old. It begins in clover. I'd be, he would be in trouble if this was Arbol. Because he's not where he's supposed to be, I don't think. Oh, here we go. What kind of animal is this, you guys? Can you see? Is it a turtle? Yeah. The turtle lifts her fossil head and blinks. One, two. Let's think. Well, where would it be dark all the time that a turtle has that they call a house? Hmm. What do you think? Do you think her shell? Oh, the ducks, they quack. The hen, it squawks. The goose, honk. But the rabbit, oh, he listens and listens and listens. And I think rabbits would be really good listener because what do they have? They have really big ears, don't they? Yeah, so I bet you they can hear really good and doesn't make a sound. And yes, rabbits can hold really, really still. Have you ever? <coughs> okay. All right, we got one more story and then we're going to tag and do our craft and silly. Because are ducks farmers? Can a duck be a farmer? No. Who are farmers? People. People are farmers, right? Not ducks. Okay, so this book is called Farmer and Duck. And it is by Martin Waddle. And it is illustrated by Helen Oxbury. And it's also produced by Candlewick Press. <clears throat> there once was a duck who had the bad luck to live with a lazy old farmer. The duck did the work, the farmer stayed all day in bed. Uh-oh. The duck fetched the cow from the field. How goes the work, called the farmer. The duck answered. What did duck say, you guys? What did duck say? Excuse me, you guys. Oh, I'm just got a terrible cop today. The duck brought the sheep from the hill. How goes the work? Called the answer. What did the duck answer? Quack. You're right. The duck put the hens in her house. How goes the work? Called the farmer. The duck answered. The duck said, Quack. <gasps> Look at this lazy farmer. What is he doing? He's just like, Quack. So here, how goes the work? Quack. How goes the work? Quack. So look at, let's see what the duck was all doing. So he's washing dishes, he's doing the laundry, he's cutting wood, and he's hoeing the garden. The duck is doing the, all the work. That's not very nice to the farmer, is it? How goes the work? What does the duck say? Quack. He's so tired and sleepy. Who is comforting him? Who are those? The chickens. They were like, it's so chipped up. <coughs> the hens and the cow and the sheep got very upset. They loved the duck. So they held a meeting under the moon and they made a plan for the morning. Moo, said the cow. Ba, said the sheep. Pluck, said the hens. And that was the plan. I wonder what their plan's gonna be. 
It was just before dawn and the farmyard was still. Through the back door into the house crept the cow and the sheep and the hens. Uh oh. So they creaked up the stairs. Oh my goodness. Can you guys see all of these animals going up the stairs in the house? They squeezed under the bed of the farmer and wriggled about. The bed started to rock, and the farmer woke up and called, How goes the work? And, uh oh, what do you think is going to happen to the bed? Look at all the animals under his bed. And, move back, clap. They lifted his bed, and so the animals dumped the farmer out of his bed. I think he probably woke up, don't you? And the farmer. Can you guys see? They chased them out of the house. Down the lane, moo. Through the field, ma. Over the hill, clap. And there, and he never came back. <gasps> So the cow and the sheep and the chickens, they chased the farmer away from the farm. The duck woke and he rolled wearily into the yard, expecting to hear, how goes the work? But nobody spoke. So here's poor duck and he's looking like he's going to go to work, but nobody said anything. Then the cow and the sheep and the hens, they all came back. What? asked the duck. What does the cow say? Moo, said the cow. Ma, said the sheep. Cluck, said the hens, which told the duck the whole story. Oh, what was the whole story? Do you guys remember? What did the animals do to the farmer? That's right, they crept the farmer out of bed and then they chased him away. The, the mooing and bawling and clucking and quacking, they all set to work on their farm. So now, who is helping the duck do all of the work since the farmer is gone? You're right, his friend. So that was kind of nice, wasn't it? Because duck was being picked on, wasn't he? The farmer was not being very nice to him. So who stuck up for him? You're right, his friend stuck up for him because that's what good friends do. They always take care of their friends. Okay, so you guys ready to do some crafts? I know I am, I'm really excited. I love doing finger painting. So, <coughs> your moms and dads in our hand and our paper or our cardboard, I'm gonna use this side so you guys can see it really well. And we are gonna paint our hand all over. And we wanna do this, don't do it very fast. What do you think will happen to the paint on our hand? Do you think it'll say wet, or do you think it would dry if we went too far? I think paint our whole hand, okay? So we want to paint it all up. We want to make sure we cover it all. Fingers and our hands are all covered. So see, I still got some fingers to do. And we want lots of paint on our hands. Now, just like this. We're going to put all our fingers together, and we're going to stick out our thumb as far as we can, okay? So <laughs> our hand is on there. Okay. So there's my chicken. So see, I have a really tall palm. It never takes paint. So then once we have it all done, we got our pan print on there. If you want, you can go in and you can fill in with your paintbrush. And I'm going to add a little bit more paint over here because these are my chicken tail feathers. And I want my tail feathers to be nice and fluffy. Okay, so there's my hand already, and it kind of already looks like a chicken, doesn't it? He's got some tail feathers over here, and then there's his head. So if you guys want to go to the bathroom and wash your hands or have mom and dad wear their house. Oh. Hey, Dina. Hey, Bailey. You guys all have all your kids with you, or are you just hanging out with me this morning? All right, so when you guys are ready, just keep going. If you got your hands all clean, tell mom or dad to give me some uh, 
thumbs up emojis or something so I know we're ready to move on. It's a good thing. So we have paint all over our hands and it takes a lot to scrub them off. So imagine if the paint was invisible and it was like a germ. We have to scrub our hand a lot to get off all our germs, don't we? So every time we wash our hands, we need to take and make sure we're scrubbing it really good because we want to make sure we get learned to hand washing stuff. I did. <laughs> well, it's set to Ferrero Jaca. Do you guys remember Ferrero Jaca? That was a song when I was little. Right. Rub your hands together. Rub your hands together. Now they're clean. Now they're clean. So that does all of the parts of our hands when we got to wash them. Because we want to make sure we get in between our fingers and we want to get. I'm trying to see our comments, but we're having a heck of a time today. My phone doesn't work. Okay, so we have our thing. So now we're going to take some yellow paint because what do chickens need to eat? What do we have? We have a mouth. That's right. What do you chickens have? Great. Right. They have beaks. So let me reach down and grab my paint. <coughs> We're gonna take our yellow paint. And do you guys know what shape a chicken beak is? What kind of shape do you think it is? I think it's a circle. No? What about a square? Do you think of yellow paint? And we're gonna draw as best as we can a little triangle on our thumb. So that we have a little beak for our chicken. Okay? And Lots of times chicken's legs are also, so if you wanted, you could draw some legs on your chicken. You don't have to. I'm gonna put a little little leg on my chicken. There's one little leg. So we're gonna make a line and then chickens have three long toes. Did you guys know that? They do. They have three long toes. I don't like the cold, but I'm not gonna get sick and die if I go out in the cold. But baby chickens, they will. So after story time today, I'm gonna post a video for you guys of about the baby chicks we have at our house. Okay, so we starting to look like a chicken, you guys? I think so. So we're gonna add one more thing. We're gonna take some red paint. You actually can get chickens that are like really cool colors. I've seen black ones that almost look like they have a rainbow in them. They're kind of neat. So then we're gonna take the red paint and we're going to draw some little triangles on the top of our chicken. Okay, I cannot do this and paint face, you guys. So I'm gonna put mine on first and then I will show you. So there's just some little triangles on top of his head. because We're gonna make a rooster. And since I don't have any black paint, I'm just gonna use the red paint to make a little eye for my chicken. I thought I had a lot more crafting paint at my house than I do. Lots of it was dried up. It out around it. So it's one. And then if you want, you could turn it over after you've cut it out and you could make a chicken on the other side using your other hand because it would be the same way. It would be a mirror, right? Because when we put our hands together, they're the same. But when they're apart, they're different, right? So that's called a mirror. Um, so if you want, you can do that. And if you'd like, you can also color your stand for your chicken. So maybe your stand could be yellow because your chicken's in some straw, or maybe it's green because it is in the grass. And if you wanted, you could cut little pieces of paper and stick on it too. So it looked like it was 3D in straw or 3D in grass. It's totally up to you. So <coughs> now this is going to stick in our... Stand. Oh, my finger's stuck in my scissors. Okay, and in his stand. Pretty neat, huh? I kind of like this craft. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so thanks for crafting me with you guys. You want to read one more story before we go? Yeah? I think so. Let's read one more story. Say hello to the animals. And it's written by Ian Wybro and illustrated by Tim Warren. And actually, this is a touch and feel book. Maybe this is why it's the favorite one next door, because you can actually touch the pages and they feel like different things. That's pretty cool, huh? Oh, look at what kind of animals. Huh? Steady off we go around the farm to say hello. So we're going to go around the farm and we're going to say hello to everybody. What's that nibbling? The pigs. Hello, pig. 
And what does he think the pig said back? Oink, oink, oink. You're right. Who's on the fence besides? Who's hiding under those sticks? Say hello to the fluffy chicks. Hello, chicks. Do you guys know what baby chicks say? They go, cheep, 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 cheep. You guys cheep, cheep, cheep. Who's, look in the barn, who's in here now? Say hello to the, to the friendly cow. Hello, cow. What do you think the cow says back? Moo, moo, moo. Who's that paddling in the muck? Say hello to the splashy duck. You guys are right. Hello, duck. What do you think duck says back? Quack, quack, quack. Who's in the stable? Oh, yes, of course. Say hello to our hungry horse. Hello, horse. What do you think hello, horse said hello back to say hello? <laughs> You're right. He says nay. He goes nay, nay, nay. What a lot of animals. My, oh, my. Now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, cow. What does cow say? Right? You're right. Moo. Goodbye, pig. What does pig say? Say. Beep, beep, beep. Good job. Goodbye, sheep. What does sheep say again? All oh, right. Good luck. Um, I really enjoyed hanging out with you guys this morning, and we will see you on Monday. I'm going to post later um, the craft that we're going to do. We're actually going to be have mom and dad help you put a little bit of water in, okay? And we're going to observe. So um, have fun this weekend. Uh, if you guys haven't seen already, on Tuesday morning, we're going to be doing a live family craft um, during the event. It has the video to get all prepared for it, and we'll be crafting for about a half an hour live to the time. So thanks for watching and we will see you again. Bye guys.